What's going on YouTube? Chris back with another video. If you have used a Google Pixel, you will know just how awesome the call screening feature is with Google Assistant. So this video is going to show you how you can actually get call screen working on your OnePlus device. I'm going to be using a OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, I'm not sure if this will work on other devices such as a central phone um, or any other device that's maybe running a custom ROM such as Lineage, but let me know down in the comments um, if you want to give it a shot. I'm not liable for anything that happens to your phone. Do this at your own risk um, if you want to try it on another device, but this will work on a OnePlus 7, OnePlus 7 Pro. We are running Android 10 stable. You will need to be rooted uh, for this to work. Um, with Magisk. So there are going to be a few things that you need to um, do first. Obviously be rooted and prior to that obviously have your bootloader unlocked. But we need to go into Magisk and you need to download um, and install the BusyBox for Android NDK. You need to install Google Dialer Framework and you also need to install App Systemizer. So we need to go ahead and install each one of those. Just going to take a minute and then you don't need to reboot after each one. You can just go back and then install each one of these, for example. So it shows done. Finally, app systemizer. All right. So now that is done, we'll go ahead and then reboot our device. Next, you need to download the latest Google Phone app, uh, the Google Dialer. So I'll leave the link down in the description where you can pick that up. Um, I'm going to be using the beta version. Um, you can pick it up on APK Mirror. And you're going to want to go ahead and install the, the Google Phone app. Next, you need to go ahead and install a, a terminal. So wherever your preferred terminal app I'm using Termux. So go ahead and open that. We need to go ahead and type in SU to grant it root permissions. Pop-up will come up, just allow or grant to root access. And then you need to type in systemize, as you can see there. This will load up the systemize, basically a terminal app. We need to list the installed apps. So what we're gonna be doing is actually transferring the Google Phone app to a system app so into the system-private app uh, folder. What you'll basically do is scroll up until you find your phone app. Mine is 98. Yours is going to be a different number. So I'll go ahead and type in 98 and we need to go and select number two which is system slash private or priv app. All right, we'll need to actually reboot. So go ahead and reboot your device after making the Google Dialer into a system app like we just did. So what we should have now is the OnePlus Dialer and then the Google Dialer. You'll know that you did this properly if you long press on it and it now gives you an option to disable the phone app. Um, if it's a system app, you can disable apps, um, but you can't uninstall them. So you will know that you did that properly if it shows disabled. Next, we need to go ahead and download the call screening uh, Magisk module from the link down in the description, which I'll provide, which shows and provides you pretty much a guide, also a written guide on how to do this. So this Magisk module will actually change the, the proper flags for the Google Dialer, so that way the call screening feature comes up. So we'll go into Magisk, go ahead and go to modules, for example. And then right now, as you can see, mine is currently uh, disabled just for the sake of this video. All right, so I enabled that. We'll go ahead and just reboot the phone once more. So now that their phone is booted, I'll just go ahead and bring my Google Dialer down up here to the front homepage. What we need to go ahead now and do is go ahead and disable our OnePlus Dialer. So we can't disable it right now because we haven't made the Google Dialer the default phone app. So you need to make that the default. So now we can see that this disable option has appeared. So that's done. Next, long press and go into your app info 
for the Google Dialer. So sorry for any background noise that's going on. My cat loves being spastic. We want to make sure that the phone app is showing yes, that it is giving the option to modify system settings, and then you want to go ahead and give the proper permissions to the Google app as well. So I've had issues where the that Magisk module doesn't actually uh, enable the call screening flags. So if we go into settings, call screening flags aren't there. So what I've had to manually do is go into a file manager, go into root, go into data, go into data again, search for dialer. The folder that we want to go into is the Google Android dialer. Go into shared preferences and then dialer phenotype flags XML. Let's go ahead and open that with a text editor. What we need to do next is go ahead and find and type in speak or we'll do the next one that we need to find. So we need to find flags that refer to speakeasy or speak. So we can see speakeasy bypass local check. We need to go ahead and make that true. I'll leave uh, all these different flags down in the description that you need to change from false to true. So that way, if you want to skip past this part, you can. So we go ahead and find next. Um, this is the enable listen in button. So we're going to go ahead and make that true as well. We can skip the spam survey, speakeasy details. We need to go ahead and make that one true. Speakeasy enabled. We need to go ahead and make that true. All right, so after you've changed all those values to true, we'll go ahead and save that file. We need to then go ahead and force stop our Google Dialer go back, open our Google Dialer, go back to settings. Here we can see the call screen functionality. You need to be on Wi-Fi, of course, to activate it. So we'll give that just a second to activate and we'll be right back. All right, so that was quick. We'll go ahead now and give this a test. If you have another phone with you, you can call yourself, which I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. Go ahead and say your name and why you're calling. Hi, this is Chris. We're testing out the call screen feature on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Just so it's clear, go ahead and say more about why you're calling. It works. Perfect. Just to double check, who's this calling? And there you go. So we just confirmed and verified that the call screen feature does work. Before, for some reason, the uh, the caller could not hear the Google Assistant, but now it does. If you follow this, uh, this guide and also the link down in the description where the original guide was created, uh, you should be all set. Um, something I do recommend is just disabling auto updates for the phone, just in case if uh, it updates and then it messes anything up. But nonetheless, this will continue to work if you just follow the steps if something does happen. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys thought this was helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if this worked for your phone. Um, hopefully this helped and that you find this useful. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below as well. Hit that like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.